Hello, this is Beth with Noteworthy Software. This video will cover the Noteworthy Composer workspace. First, with the toolbars, you can left click and drag those toolbars to other locations on the screen. If you do not like the size of the toolbars, you can right click and change the button height. Right click, button height. If you'd like to change the item shown on the toolbar, go to View, Toolbars, and Customize. For example, if you'd like to remove Print and Print Preview, go to the File toolbar and double click on those items and you'll see that they are being removed. If you need things to go back to the way they were when Noteworthy Composer was installed on your computer, simply check Restore Defaults and they will be returned to the way it was when Noteworthy Composer was installed. You may also want to change the size of the notation on the screen and that is done with View Zoom and you can zoom in or zoom out. And this does not change the printed notation, it's only the notation that you're working with in the editor. We also have the status bar along the bottom, and this will show you the MIDI channel number for the active staff. You can see that change, and we'll also show the group name and the staff name. During playback, this area will become a counter for where you are, and you can change that by clicking in the area if you want to move toward the end of the song, the beginning of the song, and the middle. But again, this is only available during playback. You can also choose which song you want to be active of what you have open and open a new file or something you've worked with in the past. Lastly, we have the panels. Along the top is the bar number panel that shows you where you are during the song, what measure number. And again, this is not for the printed staff. This is just in the workspace. And here we have the label panel. When you hover to the left of this middle staff and see the two plus signs, that will tell you this is actually layered staves, two layered. If you left click, you see both of the staff names and you can click on the one you want to have active. When we hover up here, we see guitar charts from bar 36 telling you the location and what the clef is and the time signature for that staff. You can also choose the staff properties or what you want to be layered, how you want them to be bracketed all along this panel. If you don't want to see the panels, go to View and turn each panel off if you need to increase the area of the workspace view and simply turn those back on. And that covers the Noteworthy Composer workspace. Thank you for using Noteworthy Composer.